Hey everybody, this video serves as a project. We're going to create a compound interest calculator using Java. If you put money in a bank account or the stock market, using the given formula, we can determine what our final amount is going to be plus interest after a given amount of time. This project serves as an exercise using Java. Let's begin. All right, let's get started, everybody. The first thing we'll need is a scanner. We'll need to import it at the top of our Java file. Import, input, import, Java, dot util dot scanner we need to create a scanner object again scanner scanner equals new scanner then within the set of parentheses type system dot in when you open a scanner it is good practice to close the scanner when you're done with it so you don't leave any resources open after creating our scanner here are the different variables we'll need double principal this will store the principal amount what's our original investment an interest rate double rate an integer for times compounded how often does our interest compound like yearly quarterly monthly then we need an amount of time such as years int years and the final amount double amount now we have to get some user input we'll need some prompts first we need the principal amount i'll use system.out.print enter the principal i never spell principal right enter the principal amount we are working with a double so we need the next double method of our scanner principal equals our scanner dot next double then we need the interest rate this is going to be a double system dot out dot print enter the interest rate i'll add within our prompt that this is in a percentage form like five percent or so the number five instead of 0 0.05 so then we have our interest rate so we need our scanner dot next double so let's say somebody types in five for five percent we would like the rate to be 0 0.05 rather than five after accepting the user input let's divide that number by 100 or let's say somebody types in seven we don't want the rate to be 7, we want it to be 0 0.07. That's why we're dividing by 100. We'll fill in the times compounded variable. We're going to use print. Enter the number of times compounded per year. So this could be yearly, that would be 1, quarterly 4, or monthly would be 12. In most cases, it's probably going to be one for yearly. Times compounded equals use our scanner dot next int, because we're accepting an integer. Then we need the amount of times our money is going to be invested. Enter the number of years then we need to assign our variable years years equals scanner dot next int because we're working with an integer then we need to calculate the total amount here's the formula amount equals we need our principal amount times access the math class use the power method raise one plus the interest rate divided by the variable times compounded so this is going to be the base we comma separate the base and the power we are raising this part of our equation to the power of times compounded times the number of years and that's our formula it's a little confusing but it should work 
Then we will display the amount. System.out.println the amount after plus years plus is pick a unit of currency. I'll pick American dollars plus amount. Let's test this. So let's say we have $10,000 or so, and we're putting it in the bank. What is the interest rate? Maybe 3%. So I'm going to type 3. Enter the amount of times compounded per year. I'll go with 1. Enter the number of years. 1. So we should have 10,300 in our bank. Which we do. 10,300. If you would like, you can use a printf statement to format the output. So if you're familiar with that, let's replace print line with printf. Instead of concatenating these variables, we'll add some placeholders instead. So to display an integer, we need percent %d within printf years is then to display a double, we need percent %f. Then we'll list our arguments. Years, comma, amount. So to display two decimals within a double, between the percent and the f, we're going to type 0.2 to display two digits after the decimal. We'll proceed this placeholder with the unit of currency. Let's do American dollars. OK, let's see the total amount. Enter the principal amount, $10,000. Enter the interest rate, 2%. Enter the number of times compounded per year. This time, let's do quarterly, so four, because there's four quarters in a year. Enter the number of years. Let's do two, actually. And here's the amount in our bank account after two years, $10,407.07. All right, everybody, so that is a compound interest calculator you can write using Java.